a lot more because in elementary school, uh, if we did, like, there weren't any major tests that we had to take for science, and if there were tests, they weren't really worth studying for. Well, last year I didn't study at all. We barely had any tests in science last year, and the website really helped studying this year, so I studied a lot more. This year I studied a lot, especially thanks to Mr. Crowder's website, which was really helpful for reviewing for tests, especially the final. I was bounced around a lot in elementary school, and from what I could tell, in elementary school you never really had tests, and so being able to like see things and being able to watch things that would help you recall things as opposed to just trying to watch it from your memory helped. In elementary school, there, we didn't really have any tests, and, and if we did have a test, it wasn't worth studying or anything like that. I studied a lot compared to elementary school, you know, because you can kind of just access old tests and quizzes. It was really useful, especially all the old um, quizzes and tests on there, so that you could go and you could look at them and then you would know what to expect on the test. Well, I could go on the quizzes and study on those, but I could also see what is up next on the calendar. So if I have a lab next week and I have swim practice so I can't work on it as homework, I can plan ahead. Studying for tests and I saw a lot of cool videos on your website. I think it was useful because like it was a well-made website and it wasn't just boring stuff like you tried to make it interesting and so and also I think it was like well organized it wasn't like some teachers they just have a kind of hastily thrown together website so I think that yours was really good in the sense that it had stuff like everything that we needed to study for. Um, it was extremely useful studying it made it a lot easier because this is kind of the first year I studied um, and then a lot for the homework if I didn't write it down or something I could always go onto the website and find out what it was. And did you send it through the link on the website? Yeah, I would always send it through the link. It helps, like I said before, a lot to be able to access old quizzes and tests from past years. Somewhat. Um, I liked having the videos. They were more engaging than just reading out of the textbook. So I think I probably did better with the videos than if we'd just done reading and taking notes. In the final of the first semester, if I'm wondering about something, I can just choose one video and watch it and pretty have all my, pretty much all have all my questions answered. I think if you um, if you had a bun just one video on all the motion physics, it would be kind of confusing because like if you're talking about one thing and then the next minute you're talking about another thing, then you kind of changing topics. That helped a decent amount. Like, sometimes I feel like you just, I know that the textbook is boring, but I think sometimes you just have to read it and then you can remember it. But the videos were good in the sense that it gave like a good sort of outline and then it would get deeper into it, into like pretty much all of what we needed to know for the first semester. So I think it was good in the sense of like how you showed us them. Like you didn't just give us, you just didn't give it to us all at once and then be like, here, watch these, and then expect us to know everything like two days later. Uh, that helped quite a lot because I'm personally really bored when we read out of the textbook. And it was just a lot more interesting. It's more kind of fundamental for people to watch things and hear them more than it is to read out of textbooks. The fact that they were videos just kind of helped a lot more. Don't overdo it and use it for what the, for the right things, not just random stuff. Don't create unusable things or unnecessary things because that just confuses kids and makes them not want to use the technology, which takes away a really beneficial tool. If you're going to use it, use it well. Don't like 
don't just make a website and then hope that kids will find the stuff. Actually show them where they can find the stuff or tell them where they can find the stuff and like constantly update it. Don't just leave it there as the same thing all the time. Otherwise kids will get bored of it or they'll be trying to find something and they can't find it like the night before the quiz and then they'll have problems. I would say like nothing that doesn't apply to the class and probably something old like quizzes and tests on there. Make it short and sweet.